record-breaking heat, my diabetes device is struggling to stay alive, and my Dexcom no longer works on my phone? I gotta get this story out to you guys. So last week, we had record-breaking temperatures where I'm at. So Santa Clarita, California, we're just outside of LA, record-breaking heat. Now, for three days in a row, I was filming, I do some acting here and there, and uh, I was actually working as a host. It's like a video host guy, right? Like, hey, it's the time for this type of show. Anyways, I'm hosting for three days in a row. It's getting hotter and hotter and hotter every day. First day, not too bad, right? It's like maybe 100. <laughs> I love that that's like not too bad, right? It's 100 degrees. Anyways, it went fine. Uh, we were in the shade half the day, so it was great. Second day, we're inside, so it was air conditioned. I was like, thank you, God. This is so nice, right? We're sitting in a nice comfy chair, reading off the teleprompter, kind of just vibing, having a good time with it. Day three comes along. I check ahead. It's supposed to be 116 degrees outside. I messaged the guy the night before. I said, hey, man, I don't think we should shoot outside in direct sunlight in 116 degrees. Aside from, you know, like, human condition not being built for that. I grew up in San Diego, come on. Uh, I was like, yo, I, I actually looked up my insulin pump. He knows that I'm diabetic. Super, super cool guy. Super, just very kind and uh, considerate, I would say. Uh, so I knew I could talk to him about this. I was like, hey man, I, I looked up my insulin pump kind of parameters, right? And apparently it'll give you an excessive heat warning at 113 degrees. I'm like, dude, if my insulin pump stops working, I can't shoot, like I'm, I'm out, I gotta leave. You know, like I can't shoot where my, my insulin can't be delivered. I need that to survive. Uh, and I was like, on top of that, here's the catch, right? Uh, we're driving home, or I was driving home the day before, right? It was already 110. My car doesn't have AC that works. Like, it, it has a button for it, but you push it and nothing happens. <laughs> because of that, my car was boiling lava hot the whole drive home. It took me an hour to get home. Halfway home, my phone stops working because of the excessive heat. I'm holding it out the window, trying to get my Google Maps to work because I need to know how to get home. I have no idea where I am. I'm like halfway out of the city, but kind of in the desert of like California. And I'm like, please work. I'm holding out the window so that like the breeze can cool my phone down to keep it alive and like trying to plug it in simultaneously, but the cord's not long enough. I'm like, ah! Finally, I had to turn my airplane mode on to cool it down a little bit, right? And I use the exact mileage for each directional step. It's like freaking, like I used to print out MapQuest when I was younger. I know I just dated myself, but get used to it. I used to have to print out maps and you'd have to like read maps, right? It's, it's a different age now, anyways. I had to do that again because my phone stopped working because it was so hot. And that's what prompted me to search, how much heat can my insulin pump take before it stops working, right? Like my phone just stopped working. I need my insulin. So long story short, I get a new phone that night. My wife talked to me and she's like, you've been complaining about this for a year. Like my phone is so slow, so slow. You tap on an app and then wait, and then it opens up. When I film my Instagram stuff, my YouTube stuff, my voice is oftentimes trailing two seconds behind what my video is showing because my phone is so slow and lags. But that's besides the point. She finally talks to me and says, Matt, you need to have a phone that can get you home, right? Your maps should be able to work, right? So we go in and get a new phone. While we're looking at the phones, I'm like, hey, this new one, super cool, right? It's on sale. Uh, it's, it's a good fit for me. And I'm like, hey, I got to make sure that my Dexcom can be read on this phone, right? Super important, something you don't always think about. But I heard people complain about this in the past, so I was like, all right, let's think about this. I'm gonna ask the sales guy, hey, does this have uh, the Dexcom app on it? Like, he doesn't know what it is, right? So I was like, hold on, I, I had my wife kinda keep him entertained by like, asking questions about the phone. I was like, just ask him whatever you think about. I walk off and I look up on my phone, is this compatible with the Dexcom app? right? It's not on the list. I'm like, gosh dang it. <laughs> Can, I just need this stuff to work, right? So this phone's been out for six months or something like that. And I'm kind of frustrated, right? Because the Dexcom app's not showing up. I'm like, okay, think outside the back box, Matt. What else can we do? How can we twist this situation to work in our favor, right? Every, every obstacle we encounter, there is a positive light. There is a way around it. 
Obstacles are not a stopping point. It's just an opportunity for you to get creative, right? And figure out, problem solve. So I'm looking at this like, all right, Dexcom's not gonna work. Who knows when they're gonna update the app to accept this new phone, right? This new update. I'm like, all right, what can I do? Stop using Dexcom? No, not gonna do that. I need Dexcom, I love it. Uh, just use it on my pump, sure. But for some reason, when my phone isn't in the same room, my pump only picks up like a two thirds of the readings, maybe. So it's like, it doesn't work 100%. And since I use Control IQ, I'm like, ah, I don't want the algorithm to get messed up when it can't read my Dexcom. I'm like, wait, I got it. There's other apps that read Dexcom data, right? Now I forget all of them, so I'm not gonna like name as many as I can right now, but I know there are other apps available that are third party apps that are not connected to Dexcom, but they can read the data. And I was like, I got it. All right, let's get the phone, right? So I go back over and I'm like, hey, I think we're gonna go for it. He was like, actually that question you had, right? The, the De Dex, Dexcom app? And he thought it was something else, but uh, he was like, this guy, this other employee has this same phone, right? He can look it up for you. If it's in the app store, then you're good to go. And I was like, oh, sick, okay. I just read that it's not in the phone, but sure, why not? Let's look it up. He looks it up and it's there. So now I'm confused. I'm like, what the heck? He downloads it and I'm like, okay. So I guess it actually works and maybe the Dexcom website isn't updated. All right, let's go for it. So I buy the phone, get home. I don't touch it just yet because I'm like, I have so much work to do. Every day I'm up before the sun. Uh, I work all day filming and then I come home and I work on FTF Warrior, right? Like for those of you who don't know, I run a type one diabetic coaching program where I coach on stable and predictable blood sugars. It's called Diabetes in Action. You should definitely go check it out right now. Go to diabetesinaction.com for a free training. I'm gonna get back to that in a second. But for now, I'm super busy. So I'm like, I don't even have time to set up my phone, let alone like reconfigure Dexcom and the new Bluetooth thing, right? There's so much going on. I'm gonna figure that out on my next off day, which is like two days away. So I'm like, all right, let's just, Let's just get the Dexcom thing figured out. I'll get the rest of the apps taken care of later because Dexcom, I need to have that for being on set, right? If I can't view my phone, I should at least be able to hear the alerts, right, off camera. So I have my phone usually just off camera. So if it does alert me of being low or high, I know, right? Even if it messes up the scene, my diabetes, my health is more important to me than messing up five minutes of work, right? People can get over it. My health is more important. So, uh, and I don't say that as, disrespect that's just reality if, if i'm going low and i don't treat that low i'm going to be useless on camera or at desk or on a construction site or whatever you do for work take care of yourself first okay so that being said i go to transfer my dexcom stuff it doesn't show up i'm like no so i i, I kept my phones here for you check it out we got we got these bad boys both with the FTF Warrior logo. Oh, that looks so cool, right? All right, so with my old phone, and check it out. I can't show you because I got client emails on here, but just trust me, it looks awesome. I'm gonna open Dexcom for you guys and show you what we got going on. Hopefully my blood sugars are cooperating because that would be slightly embarrassing. Oh, they're, they're creeping up a little bit, right? We got, what is that showing? 133, that's my massive meal, some exercise in there. And on this phone, so obviously you see it's working, right? On that one. Hold on, I need my fingerprint for this new phone because they're fancy. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Dexcom and we get this. Incompatible smart device. I'm like crap. So I go ahead and I hit more information, right? Opens up a web browser. On this it says, is your Dexcom, is your device compatible with Dexcom products? Okay? And this is what I want you to be clear on, okay? What this is for is you type in your country, your language. I'll just do it real quick. Ready? Country, United States, language, English, confirm. And that's going to open up. Let it focus. That. Is your device compatible? So we're going to say search by device. And it opens up this screen, platform. Y'all about to learn. You ready? Android. We got manufacturer, Samsung, device. This is their list of devices. Okay. See that? My phone is not on there. So it's interesting that you will find it in the app store, but you cannot use it. So I was able to download the app, but I cannot use it, unfortunately. So I want to make you guys aware of a couple things here. One, your diabetes devices are temperature sensitive. 
Thank God I did not have to learn that the hard way. I learned it by Googling it, okay? Uh, for me, I want the tandem pump. I went to their website and it says 113 degrees, you will receive a warning of excessive heat, which means it'll probably still continue to work, but who knows how long if it gets hotter than that, okay? So you gotta keep your devices cool, but also not too cold, because then they'll freeze. But second thing I wanna tell you guys about this is, just because something shows up in the app store doesn't mean you can actually use it. So I had to learn the hard way. Right now, I literally, I literally have to carry two phones around with me. Because this one, it's my old phone, it tells me my Dexcom data. This one has everything else. That's my new reality. Because I, when I first got the Dexcom, they didn't give me a receiver. Because they were like, oh, you have an insulin pump and a phone. You don't need to buy a receiver, it's just extra money. And I was like, all right, cool, doesn't matter. Well, now I have to carry two cell phones, an old phone, that thing's like four years old, right? I waited till the absolute last minute. And now a new phone that can't read Dexcom. This is my current predicament. I wanted to welcome you guys into my world and share with you what's going on. Now, back to the beginning of the story, right? I told you this guy was one of the most caring, kind, and just he thinks of everyone else before himself, right? This guy for the, the filming job I was doing, the acting job. He was like, oh yeah, for sure, man, we don't need to do it. That's a, yeah, why would we film in 116 degrees? You're absolutely right. So we filmed for a couple hours inside the AC and then called it a day, it was fantastic and uh, everything was good. But unfortunately, my device still doesn't read on my new phone, so I'm stuck there. Uh, if you have a phone that does not read your, your D, 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 CGM, your Dexcom, there are other apps in the App Store or in, what is it called, Google Play. Uh, that you can download. I don't know all of them, but I know there's like at least three different apps that can read the Dexcom data. So you can grab one of those apps. I might check one of those out myself, honestly. But the other option, carry both phones around. Another option, just use the insulin pump, right? You still got options. Every obstacle presents an opportunity for you to get creative. Get jiggy with it, right? Like, just have fun with your situation. Stop wallowing and just complaining about everything and just have a look around. All right, what data do I have? How can I turn this into being in my favor, right? I Now I get to say I have two phones. Ooh, it's kind of fancy, right? Don't let obstacles stop you. Don't let obstacles get in the way. Use them as an opportunity to grow. Instead of freaking out and going, oh crap, I just bought a whole new phone and Dexcom doesn't work. That thing is like how I read my life signals, right? <laughs> I need that. Instead of freaking out, I accepted it as like, dang it, this sucks. But what can I do about it, right? Don't let those obstacles hold you back. Take action. Get creative. Use that as an opportunity for growth. That's all I got for you guys today. If you want to check out the free training I did on how you too can achieve stable and predictable blood sugars through different activities, exercises, and meals, as a type 1 diabetic, you definitely need to check out Diabetes in Action. Okay, So go to diabetesinaction.com. It's about an hour long. I highly suggest turning off distractions and getting a notepad out. There's a lot of good stuff I drop in that webinar, as well as my own personal story of how I almost died in a foreign country from a low blood sugar where nobody else wanted to help me. So go check out that story, learn something new about how you can stabilize and predict your blood sugars with your own unique 80-20 blood sugar formula, and have a great day. Keep up the fight.